A while back, I attended a Home Decor Street Fair event, which is basically a flea market event where anyone and everyone, your grandparents included, can come purchase decor pieces or simply just in the shop. More like what you do at Pinterest, only difference is that I include 25 plus physical and online shops in a country hold dear and places you can actually access to act as a hotbed of creativity and inspiration. So, shall we? How does it feel when you think of a bomber's outfit and when you wear it, the combination fits perfectly from head to toe and as you walk up the street, you can feel people staring and stealing a glance. On top of that, you meet someone you know, say hi and at the back of your mind, you tell yourself that finally, finally, you can get back home, put your grenade down for safekeeping and kill millions another day. Yeah, that's how your home should feel like, like a great outfit combined of items that look and feel great but also meaningful, comfortable and express who you are. The essence about styling your interiors is always about people and how they live, hence the question of what you want to own is actually the question of how you want to live your life. They say home is where the heart is, but it's not as simple as what it looks like and how it feels like, it is how it works too. For house to be successful, the items in it must communicate to one another, respond and balance one another, talk about colors, textures, patterns and skill, as this adds to one's visual interest when they get into a room. So don't be afraid to mix the old with the new, the classic with the modern and the rough with the polished.
Now, flashback to my childhood when it was my first time in Narok during a school field trip where we visited the Maasai community and when I got back home, my parents were a little disappointed I didn't bring them a souvenir. And I always didn't understand it, but now I kind of do. I think the whole idea was for me to understand that a home should tell a story of who you are and be a collection of what you love as it represents your life as you journey from one chapter to the next. As your life grows and develops, so should your home. While you learn more about yourself, your home should reflect that exploration and as you mature in sophistication, the aesthetics of your home should likewise elevate, indicating the changes and developments within.
in every form of art, whether it's drawing your eyebrows, music, photography, videography, making art using paint, different kinds of pencils, water or charcoal, there is something called dynamic range. This is where the musician sings high and low notes, or an artist draws details in both the highlights and shadows, details from the sun to the details in the deepest, darkest shadows. Likewise, a room should be styled in a way that it gives effect of a high dynamic range. And if you forget about everything on this channel, don't forget that luxury is a parameter. What is luxurious to you is different from the next person. So don't shy away from using the old, the new, the hand-me-down, the collected, the thrifted, the one but loved things as these are the ones that make it your home and brings the spirit of individuality.